Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on IPsec VPN chapter number 3A, Defi Hellman. Uh, we are going to focus on this particularly uh, topic that is Defi Hellman. Uh, a Defi Hellman key exchange, basically we are going to focus. Uh, I have made a bonus video, you can say this is a bonus video after chapter number three uh, because uh, I want to explain you a bit about what exactly this Defi Hellman key exchange is because uh, uh, the people who are working on IPC VPNs uh, may have gone through this uh, terminology that is Defi Hellman key exchange a lot a lot of time they might have gone through this particular terminologies and uh, I'm focusing uh, much on terminologies because uh, I think if you have a very good understand of IPsec VPNs terminologies, uh, then you can be in a better position to actually understand the configuration, to do the perform the configuration, perform the troubleshooting of IPsec VPN. So, uh, guys, in this video, we'll just focus on Defi Element Key Exchange. So, let's start and let's see how Defi Element Key Exchange works and where it is working. So, uh, in the last video, in terminologies part one, we saw something uh, known as symmetric encryption. And in symmetric encryption, when we're having a discussion, we actually took an example. I'll just take this example again. We took an example. We took a node A. Uh, we uh, took this public network and we took this node B. And we we saw that in uh, in symmetric encryption, how symmetric encryption works. Uh, what happens in symmetric encryption is that when a data A wants to send some data to B, it will use a key, encrypt this data and send the encrypted data to B and then B will use the same key and then decrypt this encrypted data and then convert this data, encrypted data into normal data that is into plain text. But here we saw that the key which is exchanged over the public network is in the clear text. So if man in middle attacker gets the access to the clear text key and to the encrypted data, it can easily decrypt that data and listen to that data what exactly it will be and then he will be the most happiest man on the planet. So we just saw this thing in the last video. So. What Defi Hellman key exchange does it, it helps to solve this problem. To solve the other solution that is the symmetric encryption, but in uh, that is the asymmetric encryption. But here in symmetric encryption also, we can achieve uh, the security, the, the whatever the drawback is by using this Defi Hellman key exchange. Uh, so this Defi Hellman key exchange guys, it was published in 1976 by Dr. Defi and by Dr. Hellman. So the name Defi Hellman is basically the uh, the name of the two great guys who have uh, who have uh, uh, who have come out with this particular uh, Defi Hellman key exchange. Uh, this key exchange is basically a I can say a secret key exchange which helps a lot for symmetric encryption algorithms to work properly now this secret key exchange means exactly what and how it works we will see uh, Defi Hellman is a public key cryptography program it's a public key cryptography programs it allows to allows the peers to establish a shared secret key exchange using encryption algorithm that is DES triple DES over a public network. Now it is defined in IKE phase one configuration. Now guys, what is this IKE phase one configuration? This year what I've mentioned here, the IP, IKE phase one configuration, don't get confused guys. This IKE phase one configuration, I'll explain you in detail in the photo further chapters, maybe in chapter number seven or maybe in chapter number 8 
uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain you in detail what what IK phase one means. But there's something known as IK phase one, IK phase two. When you're doing the IPsec VPN configuration, you'll come across phase one, phase two. So whenever you're configuring uh, IPsec VPN for phase one, at that time you have to define this Defi Hellman key. So this is the this is where we are going to practically implement Defi Hellman key. But many people do have an interest that how the secret key exchange becomes because A is going to send a key to B on the public network in clear text and then how A and B are going to actually exchange the keys, they, how, how it is going to happen. Now Defi and Helmin, these two guys have made it possible in 1976. I'll explain you this. Uh, the key to this to for generating a key, secret key is prime number. Is prime number. Now, as you all know, prime number is a number which can be divided by itself or one only without remainder. That is a prime number. What I've done, guys, is I have you know made and um, this kind of uh, calculation example I've taken and uh, I'll just explain you all this. It will be very easy to you to understand how Defi Hellman uh, key exchange uh, works or how this algorithms works. I've, I've took, took some numbers, a very simple numbers. Practically, uh, this will be a number. This will be a big, big, big numbers. Uh, so, but I have taken a single digit or a double digit number only to explain you. So, uh, imagine guys, this is a uh, node A, whatever A I have mentioned over here. So, this is my node A. This is your public network. And this is your node B. Okay. So now we have your uh, what exactly A and B does is that it uses, as I told, it uses a prime number and a generator. Uh, so here I've taken numbers like this is a prime number 11 and I've taken generator as 5. So they go A and B, both of them go into some sort of uh, a negotiation or something like that. This algorithm works and 11 and 5 that is p and g what i've taken here the prime number and the generator they, they take this number okay and on basis of these two numbers that is the prime number and generator they move forward with their defi hellman key calculation then there is another number now this prime number and generator this both are exchanged on the public network okay so p and g Okay, this both are exchange on the public network. Then only A will come to know that what B A B has taken the prime number and generator, and then A will also uh, come to know, B B also will come to know that what is the prime number and the generator number. So these both the name both the numbers will be same at both the ends. Then there is something called as secret number. Now this secret number is not exchange over this public network. Now A will consider uh, a secret number as well as P will also consider a secret number. Now this secret number is not exchanged over public network. That is why it is a secret number. And A will not know what is the secret number of B and B will never come to know that what is the secret number of A simply because they are not exchanged on public network. Fine. Then there is a number which is calculated by using these three numbers that is P g and a that is the exchange number which is exchanged over the public network now this is i'll have just given the name as s1 so what is s1 exactly s1 is the exchange number of a s1 is equal is equal to g that is generated raised to a a is the secret number of a mod p p is the prime number so here my g is 5, 5 raised to 6. Now when I say 5 raised to 6, it means 5 multiplied 6 times. 5 into 5 into 5, that is 6 times. Whatever the value comes, it is divided by this p, that is 11. And whatever the remainder comes, that will come out to be 5 because it is mod 11. So that number, 5 raised to 6, output is getting divided by 11. Then the remainder will be 5. Here also the same calculation happens. This will be g raised to here is not a it will be b okay 
So g raised to b that is 5 raised to 4 divided by 11 whatever the remainder comes that remainder will be 9. So this s1 and s2 are exchanged or public network a will give s1 to b and b will give s2 to a. So this is what they have received. Now, now the keys are calculated. Now what A will do is A will calculate a key that is K1 and the formula for that is S2 that is this secret key sorry the uh, exchange key what B has given that raised to A which is a secret key of A mod P. P is again the uh, prime number. Now this secret key here was 6 for A and the number which has come that is the exchange number which is B has given that is 9. So 9 raised to 6 mod 11 the output comes to be 9. Again here B will also calculate K2 that is key 2 in the same way it will use S1. S1 is the key or uh, S1 is the number which A has given raised to b b is the secret key of b which is not exchanged on public network mod p and this is 5 raised to 4 mod 11 which against the output comes out to be 9 so these are the keys that is k1 and k2 which they will use for encrypting and decrypting the data and guys k1 and k2 always will be same k1 and k2 you take any example you check always k1 and k2 will have the same value so this is how defi hellman key algorithms work it uses a prime number it uses a generator now this prime number generated an exchange key they have ex they, they get exchange or they travel over the public network now even the mim the hacker gets the access or if he, even if he comes to know about this number it is it is not going to matter because they are not the actual keys the actual key is K1 and K2 which are equal and which are not exchanged over the public network. So this is how defi hellman key calculation is done. This is how uh, defi hellman uh, calculation is done and this is how defi hellman secret key works. So because of which it actually allows the peers to establish a shared secret key. So when I'm talking about shared secret key that is the key k1 and k2 that generated on a and b and by using that they will encrypt and decrypt the data uh, the same thing i have wrote here in in this format that it uses a prime number prime number is something which is getting divided by itself or by one without remainder it also uses a generator and a secret number a and b uh, then it calculates some exchange number which is exchange over the public network and then uh, defi hellman uh, algorithm calculates k1 for a and then k2 for b and k1 and k2 are same a and b will use this the secret key to encrypt and decrypt the data uh, the same notes i have what i have explained you in this particular slide uh, defi hellman groups so guys there are different defi hellman groups whenever you are configuring you whenever you are configuring defi hellman uh, in, in phase one configuration of IPsec VPN, you will see these groups, uh, group one, group two, group five, group 14, group 15, group 19, 20. So we'll see this particular groups, defi Hellman groups. These groups basically determine the strength of the key. What, what will be the strength of the key? The higher the group, the more the size of the key and more the size of the key, the more the strength it is. Like uh, here I have mentioned like key one, okay. Defi Hellman, sorry, Defi Hellman group 1, it is having the key size of uh, 768. Now, when it is having a size of 768, it will be the weakest one. Whatever the key is going to get generated, that will be a weak on, on the weaker side. Whereas, if Defi Hellman 20 has been used, it is, it is, it is going to generate a very uh, strong or I can say the strongest key for Defi Hellman group. So, guys, I want to explain you this kind of stuff in this 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 stuff, particular defi element key, how it works. Many people are interested to know that how defi element exactly works. This is the algorithm by which a secret key exchange uh, is, is is calculated and how 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 it is performed for a symmetric encryption. Uh, so, guys, uh, I'll stop here in this video. In chapter number four, I'll come up with uh, with terminologies related to hashing. Uh, 
uh, and then in chapter number five uh, some terminology related to authentication and then we'll move forward with the components and the other stuff of ipsec vpn so guys here in this video i'll stop uh, guys if you need the notes for this video again as i told in the last video you can just mail me on this mail address and if you want to read my blog you can just visit this website i'll paste the uh, link of this particular blog spot on my link in my in the description of this video uh, guys thanks for watching this video if you have already the member if you already subscribe my channel you've already subscribe uh, subscribe of my channel guys do please share this video with your friends with your colleagues and if you are new to my channel guys please do subscribe our tech stuff for more networking videos so guys thank you thanks for watching catch you in the next video